This is the story of how we ended up with a pet owl. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave. And do you know how hard it is to get somebody to help you with an injured owl? He's really good. <laughs> so, what happened? You found him here? Yeah, I found him. He was in the road by the white line. But, you know, a friend had messaged me because she knows I'll come rescue animals. I went, I grabbed him, put him in this um, thing here, and brought him home. I fed him. He loves chicken gizzards. How do you know it's a he? I don't. Is it going to be me t-shirt you to you the easy way? Or the owl? I call everybody, even in other states. Somebody finally calls me back, tells me to put him in a box. <laughs> well, he loves chicken gizzards. He loves them. And Did he get in the refrigerator and steal chicken gizzards? Well, he gave me the money and I went and bought them for him. <laughs> okay. Chicken gizzards. $1.44. May contain hearts. <laughs> but anyway. Your support is chicken gizzard habit. And he was more active today. He was hopping around, climbing up on a roost. He was doing really good. And Joey says, I think he's ready. I was like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, he's doing a lot better. He's gonna die in captivity. I'm like, well, okay. So you can watch the rest. He did not want to leave. I think he's really hurt. So I want to call the guy that did contact me. I don't know if it's Three Rivers Animal Rescue. I don't know. Um, and see what they say. I'm gonna tell them I kept him overnight and I was gonna try to release him back where I found him tonight and he would not go. You didn't want him to die. Oh my gosh, he's gonna fly out of there. I think he can. But you don't want him to fly out of there. That's the wood stove's on. And, uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, they said to keep him for a couple days. He likely has a concussion. She described what his eyes were doing. One of his eyes were staying closed. Gosh, look at you, buddy. This is not what I had planned, Winnie. Winnie, why are you not afraid of people? You're hecka pretty. He is, isn't he? I don't want him to die. I guess I'm going to have to really get a rescue for him. Because... Please. Okay, what we're doing right now is in the car. And we've got the engine off. And we've got uh, the headlights out. I've got a little bit of light on my face so I can see me. but And... Uh, trying to give him a shot maybe he wants to fly away on his own and uh maybe the lights and the engine noise or something like that we don't know we're we're we are not owl experts <laughs> so listen if we do have to take this owl home we're going to need to know more about what to feed this owl and what to do for this owl or if you guys if you're involved in owl rescue in any way you know let us know because we, we have to do something with this owl So it's really difficult to figure out what to do with, with these animals because you don't want to run afoul of the law, but you don't want to let them die. Um, you, there's no place to really call that'll really come and help. We've tried everything that we can find uh, from where we're from. We eventually got someone to talk to us and uh, told us to keep it in a box for a few days and then try to release him. We did that and it didn't work. So I think 
from you know what I understand, as long as we don't confine him, uh, that we're okay. So we're not confining him, we're not closing any of these doors, and we're just going to feed him and hope he gets better and, and wish him the best. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll decide he likes this enough to, to hang around and, and keep our barn uh, free of rats and snakes. Did you, that's a good sign, though. Big poop. Big poop's a good sign for a big owl. All right. Now, I wonder if he'll eat that we've been traumatized. He's like, check it out, man. Okay, so we're not going to close the doors on him. We're going to leave the doors open. And he's going to be able to leave if he wants to. He's looking behind him. Here. Do you want to eat? Do you want to eat? Yeah. There you go.